Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve with the All in Alaska channel. Hey, going to show you a little video and some uh, photo clips of uh, one of my recent trips uh, down to the Copper River doing some uh, dip netting uh, for sockeye salmon in Chitna. Uh, we're in southeastern Alaska, temperate forest. It's cloudy. It's rainy. Uh, it's super crazy. There's my girlfriend, Becca, on my brand new uh, Honda Rubicon four-wheeler. We got the dip net. We got the cooler. We got the hunting bag. We got everything ratcheted down. We're ready for a good time. Uh, there's Becca down uh, in the canyon, kind of in a more uh, mellow area of the river. She just caught her first sockeye. She's super pumped. Um, you can see the size of the dip net in the back there. Um, anything can happen. You could get a monster sockeye, six, seven pounds. You could get a king salmon, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16 pounds. Who knows? Uh, this next clip coming up, just showing a little bit of the terrain. Uh, in some areas, um, you know, a lot of guys are using side by sides, four wheelers. Uh, heck, people are actually even biking uh, on this trail. Here you can see the slate and the rock. That's uh, there was a rock slide, and it's blocking the trail. Uh, we didn't actually continue uh, going down. We stopped right here. Uh, you can't see in the photo, but those rocks are extremely sharp, and they will puncture a tire. And uh, being that I just bought that four wheeler. Uh, didn't want to have any problems so yeah didn't go didn't go ahead um, in the video just kind of show you uh, some of the train uh, kind of what you need for dip netting and then there's kind of a silly clip of me pretending to be a uh, uh, wildlife uh, fisheries uh, biologist which I am not um, and then it kind of just ends just uh, showing you guys a couple a couple photos of the sockeye salmon we caught. So hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, coming up is just the uh, the brief four wheeler ride um, up into the canyon. Uh, in down a canyon he's going to the to the right and now he's gonna to go to the left he's gonna be real careful as he traverses this canyon have you paved the way is it ready it's ready yeah, your turn. I'm okay here I go all right the five o'clock report with Steve LeBrenz here he is Hi, my name is Steve LeBrenz. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. We're down here at Chitna, trying our luck at a game of sockeye salmon in our net. We're tied off here to a nice ash, and we're doing our best to stay safe with our life cuts and uh, stay dry as well as we can. And as you can see, the water's roaring. It's a beautiful early summer We're at a really nice spot where, where a guy can catch a nice, delicious sockeye. Tell me a little bit about your equipment, sir. I'm rocking a net here that you're going to use. You're going to want to use a monofilament line. And you're going to want to have what I like is a modular pole, multiple lengths. You're going to want that in case you want to change your distance in your hole. So, remember that tip, keep a good D-handle right there. That helps you have a good grip and it helps you with the orientation of your net. What's this here string? That's some paracord and if you tie that off to the top of your net, like you can see there, and if you can tie it off to a rock or a tree, the opposite direction, excuse me, the direction of the flow of the water, It'll really help you with your net placement. Now, which way are the salmon coming from? Salmon are coming from the ocean and they're coming, they're swimming up north. 
up the river, and they come in these little eddies, these little channels here to rest. And that's where you'll find a nice sockeye salmon. All right, we'll check back later for the 10 o'clock news report. Thank you, Mr. Lebrun. Thanks, guys. A good fisher. Yeah, so I know that uh, that clip was a little hard to hard to hear, but anyways, hey, just hope uh, it gives you a visualization of what you need for the for the the dip net. Uh, you're gonna need some carabiners. Uh, you're gonna need some uh, good strength rope. You're gonna need a life jacket. You're gonna need rain pants. You're gonna need hiking boots. Um, you're gonna need a wool hat and your jacket. Uh, there's Becca in the eddy. Guys, that river is so silty, it's so fast, you can hear the wind just howling down the canyon. Uh, it will kill you in three seconds. Uh, people die uh, doing this, exactly what we're doing every summer, uh, very sadly, but it's true. So you have to take every measure um, to be to be safe. And that includes having a, a survival bag, a backpack, and uh, being ready. You could get socked in and you might have to spend the night um, on the cliff. There's me. That's a fun shot. I'm smiling. I'm happy. Uh, I'm holding on to the dip net. Uh, I've got, uh, make sure you got, they're called glacier gloves. They're just like a synthetic, uh, they're not rubber, but um, they're just a special kind of glove. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys uh, on the fishing charters use them. Beck and I reversing rolls. I'm down in the eddy spot. Thought that that spot was going to produce. Uh, Beck and I uh, got two sockeyes this trip. Uh, like I said, guys limit out. You can get uh, I think I mean I, I think it's 15, maybe it's 20 per person, but it's a big party, it's a big parade. Everybody goes down there and tries to catch a bunch of fish. And sometimes you get a bunch, sometimes you don't. Um, there's there's me on the lake uh, in the town of Chitna, uh, where we camped out, and there's a nice sized sockeye that I got and filleted right there by the lake. Hey, if you guys have any more questions about what it takes to dip net um, on the Copper River, uh, please feel free to, to um, write me a comment and I'll get back to you because there's a heck of a lot more information that uh, you should know uh, besides what this uh, video provides. All right. Thanks, guys.